Hi everyone, and welcome to Learning Photography, the digital photography course. Now we're going to learn about portrait. So instead of taking someone's headshot, let's go now to the board of directors, let's go to the owner of the company. Now these people are wanting portraits more. It's going to go into a business review or an industry magazine, right? So, or it's a press release, or it's a family friend, it's grandma, grandpa. This is something that you want to treasure as a family portrait. All these things are treated basically the same because you treat everybody with dignity and respect. Your ears are really important. Listen to their mood. Sometimes you'll take photos of someone who's quite serious. So you don't want to be all bouncy, it'll put them off, right? So listen to their mood and match it. Just come in that you're having a good day and you're encouraging them to have the same. I hate having my photo taken. That's a part of your experience as a photographer, how to get over this hurdle. The reason why most photographers don't like doing portrait photography is because of the fear of the unknown, how to handle objection, how to handle humans, but it's something that with experience, as the years go on, and it's okay, it's all right, okay? I don't like having my photo taken, right? So I can relate to that, and so I can relate to you not wanting to have yours done. You don't tell them that, you just make them feel at ease. And the way you do that is you talk with them, not to them, you talk with them. Ask them questions, hear their story. I know you've got to take their photo so you can't have them talking because oh, ah, e, ah, their mouth will be in some weird position as you're taking your photo. But take an interest in them, take an interest enough to ask them questions about what they do, about their favorite hobby, about their favorite sport, all right? There's, all, there's a world of things. What, what was the last holiday you went on? Tell me about that. Where did you go? Did you see anything good? And what movie have you seen recently? Anything good? There's a range of leading questions that you can get people to have a chat. Some people are closed and they won't talk. They just won't talk. And, and you try, you throw in, you know, it's like, give me a bone here, you got nothing. And, and you throw in all these, I'm not catching anything, nothing, oh, come on, buddy. And, and so some people are just naturally really serious types and, and they keep their cards close to their chest and they won't talk, they won't tell you anything. And that's okay, um, just get the job done, respect that respect who they are, that's who, who they are. You don't know their life's journey. What sort of life have they had? You don't know, right? But give them the respect and courtesy, just like you do everyone else, to say, well, I don't understand your journey and you won't open up to me. You don't tell them this, you're thinking this, but I'll treat you with courtesy and respect and let's quietly get the job done, okay? So there's always a way around this. Consider this. There's two types of portrait going on. If you're an Annie Leibovitz, you're gonna take a portrait of someone and take control of the situation and whether they like having their photo taken or not and whether they like the end result or not, it's gonna be a work of art because her talent is stellar, right? She's done it for decades and decades and decades. She knows exactly what she's doing. She'll create a work of art and you have to go with that and trust that. So that's a work of art that you can blow up and proudly put on your wall. Then there's commercial where it's, they have to look good, they have to. And if they don't like it, you're in trouble, right? You have to work with them to get a shot that they're going to like that'll look good in a magazine, a newspaper or an advert. So there's different things going on here. There's either artistic, portrait, and you have to trust me as a photographer and I'm going to create something here, like a Joe McNally, all these different great Herb Ritz, all these great photographers who I admire, and I look at their work and think, wow, I wish I was that talented. Look at their work, it's just fantastic. Even if you shoot commercially, put some thought into it. How am I gonna make this stunning? And then I'll change it a bit in post-production. Plan it out, dream about it, think about it, and say, right, now I'm ready to bring my model in. And it could be an auntie and uncle, it could be grandma, granddad, you know, whoever, right? It doesn't matter who it is. Plan it out first and then bring them in. Now you're not wasting their time 
all yours because when they're there on set, you got your grey card, you got your light meter, you know what settings because you've already done a preliminary shoot, you've been here before, you're ready to rock and roll straight away and then boom, 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 they've had a great experience. Keep them fed, keep them watered, keep them happy, they've enjoyed the experience and then when people say, oh, did you enjoy the experience of having your photo taken? I loved it. That was effortless. They made it a lot of fun, all right? And, and that's good. And then other family members and friends, they go, wow, you actually are a really good photographer. What you did with grandma, I mean, look at that for a portrait. That's stunning, right? So uh, work with it, experiment with it. It's a part of your lifelong journey and enjoy the experience. Now we're going to move on. So please hit the bell, subscribe and like. And uh, so we'll move on now to group shots, oh my god.